Aladdin His Lamp is a very well animated Warner Brothers cartoon, but honestly, I didn't I didn't love the narrative. This is a 1948 cartoon directed by Robert McKimson and written by Warren Foster with voices provided by Mel Blanc and Jim Backus. And it started off okay, Bugs Bunny finds Aladdin's lamp and we have this genie and I quite liked the character of the genie. I thought that that aspect was interesting and quite well done. But then Bugs Bunny goes to Baghdad with, uh, with the genie and at that point I just, I didn't have as much interest in the narrative. I didn't think the characters that were introduced were were that fascinating they weren't terrible i didn't think they were badly written i just don't think they were interestingly written characters but it was well animated we have a lovely color palette there's a lot to see at any one time there's a lot of attention to detail and bugs has some some decent lines there are a lot of uh, plays plays on words and puns and things with hair and and various other things so the dialogue between Bugs and the other characters were pretty good. It was well animated. The first half, give or take, was okay. But I didn't really love the narrative after that point. So I can't say it's a bad cartoon. There's nothing specific about it that didn't work. But I feel like half of it appealed to me and half of it didn't. But that being said, it's well animated. The dialogue's well written. The narrative, I don't think, was quite as well written. But I do have to acknowledge that maybe that's just down to my personal preference. So... I'd say watch it if you're a fan of Bugs Bunny because there might be something in it that appeals to you like there was with me. There definitely was, you know, there were one or two things that I quite liked. But when it comes to Bugs Bunny cartoons, Aladdin His Lamp is, is ultimately not my favourite.